Imagine that you're on a shopping trip where you need to visit 8 shops. There's a path between any 2 shops, but the distance varies depending on the shops. You need to start and end at the same shop and visit all of the shops exactly once. This is called a Hamiltonian cycle. Let's say you're in a hurry. What's the shortest cycle you could take? This everyday dilemma is so important that computer scientists have crowned it the Traveling Salesman Problem, or TSP. Let's first consider these four shops, numbered 1 through 4 here. Making sure to visit all shops exactly once, one path we could take starts from shop 1, moves around to 2, 3, and then 4, returning back to 1 for a distance of 17 miles. We could switch up the order we visit to get more paths. But how many paths are there? There are 4 shops to start off. For each of those 4 shops, we have 3 choices to visit next, then 2, then 1, so there are 4 factorial, or 24, paths to check. It's easy to list all 24 of these paths, calculate the distance for each, and find the shortest, which is 17 miles for our example. What about n shops total? That will leave us with n factorial paths. For even slightly more cities, the number of paths increases to dangerously high numbers. How about 50 cities across North America? We're already buried under this many paths, it's unmanageable. So what do we do? Well, do we always need perfect solutions? In practice, often we just need good enough solutions, but quickly. So we use heuristics. Heuristics find approximate solutions by ignoring bad paths right off the bat instead of checking each one. Humans already use heuristics naturally. For these cities, our intuition tells us that the shortest route should be close to this. Maybe it's not the best, but it's definitely close. And with one look, we know that a route that begins like this likely won't be the shortest, so we don't even consider it. A simple heuristic is the nearest neighbor heuristic, which starts at a random city and always chooses the closest, unvisited neighbor until we end up back at the start. Using this, we only need to go through all of our cities once, and for each city, check all of its neighbors once, so the worst case performance is n squared, or only 2500 steps for 50 cities. A lot better than our previous monstrosity. Ultimately though, heuristics only approximate solutions, and while nearest neighbors is extremely fast, it's not very accurate. For some cities, it even gives the worst possible path. A better choice is what's called ant colony optimization, where we simulate a swarm of virtual ants exploring our cities. The probability of an ant moving from one city to another depends on the attractiveness of the move, typically the inverse of distance, as well as the amount of pheromone present. Putting it all together, we get this formula. The numerator is for the move we are considering, A to B, and the denominator is the sum of all possible moves from A. But where does this pheromone come from? When an ant completes a cycle, it leaves some pheromone along the path. Shorter cycles leave larger amounts of pheromones than longer ones. This way, with enough ants, we can guide them to find shorter and shorter cycles. With these short paths, TSP can approximate optimal transportation routes, build microchips, and also map telescope placement in astronomy. And if we think of distance as similarity between DNA fragments, we can even use TSP for DNA sequencing. Who knew?